What's up guys, Erroneous here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about whether or not Kaja the Rye is actually worth going for and wasting all your resources. Or, is it wasting your resources? Let's get into it. Alright y'all, so Kaja the Rye. Is she even worth it? Let's do a quick dive in her kit. Super, super quick. I know you've probably seen it a million times. Attacks when enemy, heals the champion by 10% of the max HP. Now, this is based on if you don't have Timmet. Is she a good champion without Timmet? Because majority of you players out there are not going to have this champion. Okay? Unless you pay a lot of money or a good amount of money. Not a ton of money, but it's a good amount of money, I feel like. Maybe 100 bucks for some. That's a lot of money. To get 40 flips. Maybe it's more than 100 bucks. It might even be two or 300 bucks. I don't know. Who's the big brains around here? Leave it in the comments down below. How much money do you think it's going to cost to flip 40 cards, 40,000 points for this deck of fate? Now, heals her, okay? Timmet's on the same team. We're, no Timmet, okay? We're not talking about Timmet here, okay? A2. Revise all dead allies, 50% HP, 50% turn meter, then it places an increased crit rate, increased crit damage on them for two turns. We're not talking about Timmet, okay? Get that out of here, all right? Is that a decent heal or a revive? It's okay. It's not crazy, but it's okay. Increased crit rate, crit damage is not bad. She does have an, a speed aura, 19%. She, she is pretty fast. It's 112. I don't have her popped up in the, um, whatchamacallit, the index. But let's do that. Make it easier for you guys. 112 base speed, so it's actually really, really good. Uh, in terms of Royal Flush, uh, she's going to take a Royal Flush in the toilet. Uh, fills the turn meter of all allies by 20%. Also removes two random debuffs from each ally. If Timmet the Fool's on the same team, we're not talking about Timmet the Fool. Get that out of here. Okay, get that out of here. Then places a block debuffs on all allies for one turn. Okay, so that's okay. 20% turn meter fill, block debuffs for one turn. You need to make sure you put the, uh, the lasting gifts or the masteries on this champion to get the best bang for your buck. All turn meter reduction effects are decreased by 50%. When used against this champion. If Timothy the Fool, again, we're not talking about Timothy the Fool. All right, so is this champion strong? She's pretty strong. She's not super strong. She's average to slightly above average champion. I don't think she's crazy good. She's just like, she's decent. She's decent he reviver. She has an okay heal on the A1, 10% of their max HP. So it's not her max HP. So it's not as strong, right? The turn meter fill is pretty cool. It's going to be really good for PvE. PvP, excuse me, there's going to be a lot better champions like Duchess, right? So, I mean, are you going to bring her in over Duchess? Probably not. Are you going to bring her over Sifi? Probably not. Are you going to bring her over an Arbiter? Probably not. Okay, so um, she's definitely a good secondary reviver. Live Arena, she'd be halfway decent. I wouldn't say she's going to be the top echelon of champions, but is she worth all your money to go into this event because why do i say money why do i keep talking about that well in terms of the not halloween titan come on now this is making me mad because i didn't get this because i didn't go for the dungeon divers because i didn't have enough resources what the heck free to play life man didn't have enough resources and uh yeah i didn't have enough gems to spend on energy to go for the dungeon divers to complete it at 6500 i got to 5600 yeah, I know. Anyways, so let's see. Uh, deck of Fate. Jester's Deck of Fate. I have 380 and I've already used 200 gems. And about, what, 600 energy? 500 energy? On the 2x dragon? And I've only got 380 of these pumpkins to show for it? Something ain't right. Uh, so yeah, so basically you have to summon champions in order to do any of these pulls. It's going to cost you 20 sacreds to even pull all of these. Most people might not have 20 sacreds. I doubt it. Unless you've been saving up like crazy and you have really, really good patience. Then yeah, you might be able to do it. But is it worth two legendary champions, basically? If you pull 20 sacreds, you're probably going to get two legendaries. It's going to be Kaja. And it's going to be one other legendary. There's a potential chance you don't even get another legendary because you're not during pulling during a 2x, right? So there's a possible chance that you actually don't get a legendary other than Kaja the Rye because you can go, think of 27 or more sacreds into your pity before you even hit your mercy. So just keep that in mind. 
Is it worth 20? Mm, I mean, if you get lucky and get this Kandrafon, maybe. But if you don't get that Kandrafon, you get a crap champion like Tim at the Fool. Then yeah. Um, I just don't think she's good. I keep seeing all these 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 uh videos or these thumbnails that's like Oh my god, dude! Oh, oh god, so good, bro. Get her, bro. Get her, bro. Yeah, I'm salty. Because I can be. What are you going to do about it? Oh. Anyways, the events. Again. Is she worth it? No. No. No, 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 no. Don't even go for it. If you have 20 sacreds, unless you get crazy lucky and you somehow get this Kandrafon, which you probably won't, it's 10x. Go figure. It's not worth it. I mean, <laughs> the only way it's worth it, okay? In the defense of people saying that it is worth it. The only way it's worth it is by pulling all of these, right? Because these are trash rewards right here. These are trash rewards. So if you don't get any of these three in a row, not worth it whatsoever. And more than likely, you're just going to get the uncommon three in a row. You're probably not going to get the epic or the rare. You have a very, very slim chance of getting that. Okay, so I doubt it. Highly doubt it. Probably not going to get it. Again, I saw this, 100. I was like, oh, so if you flip one card, you're just going to get 100? No, 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 that's not going to happen, okay? It's not going to happen. All right, you're probably going to get 10, 10, 10, 10, 5, 5, 5, 20, 20, 20, something like that crap, right? Uh, It's not going to be that 5, 5, 5. It's going to more than likely be like 10 each or 20 each for each flip of these, I'm assuming. Let me see if it says that somewhere. Does it say it anywhere? I also saw content creators say that it's 10 each. I didn't actually see anybody flip. I also didn't watch the full video because I'm like, ah, it's not even worth it. So, um, yeah, no, 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 no. If you want to know my response to it, my thoughts, no. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.